Hey guys, Chris Ignato here. Welcome back to Nature Now. So I want to share with you some footage of a couple of different wasps I found displaying some pretty fascinating behaviors. The first one is an organ pipe wasp I found on one of my camping trips and it was acting pretty interesting. But the next wasp is, well, it's another type of mud dauber species displaying a similar behavior, but I'm guessing for a different reason. I found it really fascinating because I really didn't know what was going on. Check it out. This is an organ pipe mud dauber, and it gets its name from those organ pipe mud stacks that you find on the undersides of roofs or garages and even bridges and similar structures. The purpose of these chimney-like structures is to provide a larder for the wasp's offspring. She'll build one of these chimney-like structures stockpile it with many paralyzed spiders and then she'll lay a single egg in each structure. When that egg hatches the larva will feed on the paralyzed spiders. In time it'll pupate and when it becomes an adult it'll chew its way out and within 48 hours it'll mate and then continue the cycle. Sometimes you'll see many of these structures on top of one another Unfortunately, some of those adult wasps will chew their way out of one structure only to find themselves within another structure. They just don't have enough energy to chew their way out of all the structures and they will perish just like the spiders. Females have been known to use abandoned chambers or even contest those chambers with another female and the winner, of course, gets to keep the structures. Anyhow, here's the clip in its entirety and listen to the noises that the wasp is making. I believe it might be a male communicating with a female, which would be the larger one. Yeah, it's a spider wasp, all right. She's uh, stocking her larder behind here. There's another structure like this one. And there's chambers, and you fill them with a uh, you know, bunch of paralyzed spiders, and then you put a single egg and you go so on and so forth until you're finished. And that's what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, that scared me right into my hand. Okay, so here's the second species of mud dauber that, oddly enough, I filmed at the same park on a different camping trip a couple of years ago. Go figure. Now, it's making similar noises, but, you know, I'm not sure what this one's doing. There's not another wasp nearby, and I don't really know of these wasps going beneath the ground, so what's it doing? Check it out. Menacing as these wasps appear, they're actually one of the most easygoing species of wasp I've ever come across. The only time you would get stung by one of these is either if you squeeze one or sat on it by accident or something like that. So surprisingly, these wasps are one of the favorite foods of the tufted titmouse. I bet that was unexpected, huh? Some of these spider wasps can actually build their larders beneath the ground and that's where their young will develop. So maybe this one's communicating with uh, an adult that's about to emerge or something. Otherwise, I have no idea. So 
So, friendly as these wasps are, I actually find them very difficult to film because they never sit still. And I just want to thank you for bearing with me on that. If you enjoyed this video, I've got plenty of other wasp and bee videos and, well, they're equally fascinating. I want to thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.